Yeah, we need to talk about how how he got a nickname. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Please let's clear that up for for I don't, many who may not know. Is that really what that's going to stick? Is it going to stick? I think it's. I stuck. was hoping not, but yeah. it, it appears that it is. <laughs> it appears that it is. I have to explain myself with every new member what of the gym s- because it does not <laughs> sound very nice. So are they, I was wondering if it was like an STD thing. <laughs> well, that's 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 the first thing I say. Hey, I'm Carrie, and it's not an STD. Have they? <laughs> have they uh, I don't have an STD. I don't. So they're that. still calling you that. It is pretty regular. I think Rob cited that on well, saturday okay yeah, well, it, then, yeah. it ain't changing then. it's not changing i don't I, think so if know. he's written in stone did on the on the chat did he put you as old old drippy uh nobody's told me oh. congrats as old drippy yep. for, for a few things well, so i mean i think that's it is what it it's, is it's not changing no so be thankful danny because even josh was talking the other night about not having a nickname right and that's what rob was saying is it could be a blessing or a yes curse. i know i know yes. i've heard that I mean, mm-hmm. especially when you recommended twinkle toes i was like ah, okay. oh i'm good i'm good well i mean it's what it is there's a lot of room for improvement with old drippy yeah i mean <laughs> Welcome to A Father's Role. I'm Danny. And I'm Jason. And today we're going to be talking with Carrie, who is a three-stripe white belt, and we're going to be Ooh. going through the progression of a white belt. And Carrie has the high chair for this event. Mm, yeah, uh, yeah. Appreciate that. <laughs> You're welcome. Appreciate welcome. that. The hazing Carrie. continues. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie is the uh, our, our resident white belt that uh, took the competition that we had. We had an in-house competition. And he took it by storm. He, uh, I don't think he left, lost a match. By fervor and passion yeah. and zeal and pohada. Wow. He just he brought not. it and he just <laughs> he just brought it. He brought it. Yeah, good job. Submitted here. everybody. How'd you do that? Um, what was your strategy going in? There was not a strategy. <laughs> the strategy was to try hard and not look bad in front of coach. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I, we should have uh, had that I, same strategy. I was going to say. Because yeah. uh, yeah. Jason but, but, and I sucked. I didn't say the strategy was successful. I, I did look bad, and, and I'm sure coach reiterated that. <laughs> yeah. um, may, may have uh, found a, a limb or two to exploit, mm-hmm. but other than that. Okay. Well, I I was debating on telling him that I have a twin brother that that showed up. That, oh, yeah. that don't know jujitsu, but he stole my gi. Yeah, he, yeah. he showed up mm. to the tournament without we'll me see. knowing. I'm I'm still relishing in that world where there are no expectations. Yes. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to live that up as long as I can. Yeah. Well, so. enjoy it. Enjoy it because once you once they hand you that blue, it it all sucks from there. <laughs> <laughs> there are expectations. <laughs> They're constantly not met. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Yeah. So um, we should say. First of all, congrats, Kerry. You did you did yeah, very absolutely. well. Thank and you. I, and appreciate it. it. And it was not by luck. There's a lot of work that has gone into that. You know, you've, you said you've been training two years. Yeah. And yeah. so, um, is what does that look like for you? Like, do you can you look today and say, um, okay, I have seen some progression uh, since you started. I've come. Sure, sure. There, there, there's been a lot of progression, um, a lot of setbacks. Mm-hmm. Um, and you don't really realize that because you're getting smashed all the time. You're just getting getting it handed to you day in and day out by all the upper belts, mm-hmm. you guys included. Mm-hmm. Um, but when you get a new crop of white belts in, and and so then you really understand what you know. Yeah. And, and you start reacting in certain ways that they don't react the same way to. And you say, okay, there is something here. I, I've been doing more than taking beatings for two years. I'm, yeah. I'm picking up on little things, That's and good. they're they're minute. But so 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 cares like it's time for the harvest, baby. That's right. Well, it's uh, would you uh, say you're a white belt in kids class killer? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm at least third best in the kids class. <laughs> right. I'm at least I'm at, I'm at least a, a so, strong bronze medalist in the kids the class. The funny thing is, we we've uh, I, uh, Carrie has actually asked Sandy and Rob if he can uh, compete against the kids because they often use him for. Um, uh, the what do we say? The drilling dummy in the kids drilling class. dummy the, the for some of the larger children. You yes, know. I, I serve the same purpose there as I serve in big kids <laughs> class. <laughs> that that is uh, a dish towel for everyone <laughs> else. Towel. You know. Oh, I think but, I think uh, no, don't cut yourself short. You're doing great, Carrie. Uh, is that a short joke? What's um, I mean? What? Well, yes, that, I mean, that's that the actually was, was yes. wasn't it? And I didn't, you can't help it. It's just a, it's, it's just okay. a little one. I didn't. Even, oh <laughs> man, that was a that was a dad. He's joke. on a roll. I, I love it. it. <laughs> bring it, bring it. I was trying to bring it. myself down. I'm I know. I heard that. I saw you go up and then go back down, and you ended up in the same place you started. That sounds about like my jujitsu. Oh, oh, hey, nice. Sorry, that was man. These lame. He jokes is on it quick. today. So, um, no, you've you've done well, Carrie, and so. When you first started, 
because if we're going to talk kind of about that progression and kind of how you how you progressed and and you're still you know we're always learning when you first came into the gym you know what was that like for you let's just say day one give us day one um day one was uh was an experience um it was scaled way back of course i started with fundies Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um and i said wow this is really simple there's nothing to this i mean this is (laughs) everyone can do this that's right This this is really easy um, 10 minutes into day one, I've never felt less athletic in my life. <laughs> um, these are very unnatural movements. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. And, and, you know, there is endless things to learn. You know, it, it's, it's truly one of those activities in sports that the more you learn, the more you know what you don't know. Yeah. yeah. If, if that's fair. Yeah, I mean, it's every yeah. day. It, it's, the sport is so big. It, it's, there's so much to it. And then on top of that, you realize that it's also evolving. As as we evolve, the sports evolving, right, the yeah. styles, the right. the schematics. You know, everything is just constantly evolving. You got these these new guys out there doing all the new techniques, and it's just it's endless. Which are you grab something and you think you got it, and somebody gets out of it, and you're like, well, what was that? What just yeah, happened? What happened? What, happened? <laughs> what just happened? Where, where'd that come from? I've, I've probably said that more than any other white belt in there. What was that? <laughs> I, I, I've not you? seen that yet. You know, <laughs> right. coaches not went over that in white belt fundies. Right. You know, that's well. Which, can we come that? in? I don't. I don't know if you. Co- I think you come in at the same time. But when we come in, we started and there was no fundies. It was just like you were thrown into the mix. Uh, no, I, when I started, there was fundies. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. So I'm yeah. I'm the I'm the ancient guy here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm the guy that was a white belt for 14 years. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, no. So there was, and I I can already tell there's a lot of things that that you're gonna say really in this podcast. It's, we're we're still thinking this a lot of the same things. Yeah, you know, absolutely. A, lot, a lot of times it's it's just realism, and I think that's what the a big appeal for all of us is just from talking to all you know both you guys personally. Mm-hmm. The big appeal is like continuing to learn what right. you don't know what you don't know and it's 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 coming comfortable with not knowing right yeah but, sure and then almost sure. coming coming becoming comfortable not knowing what you don't know and be and still showing up to prove that you don't know no, what you don't know <laughs> <laughs> it's those little wins it's like if i can just get this one thing tonight i would have succeeded oh, that's yeah. a good that's a good question too uh, of course that was a statement i, I, I can that answer wasn't a question no i said that it comes to my mind i can i, uh-huh. I think i can make the same you know the same statement but uh um because we've talked about those mental hurdles before really it's still the same because you yeah. show up and i'm like i'm still getting smashed a lot too in fact we were um so the question would be knowing a lot of times that you're going to come especially with you know advanced class you're coming in and still getting smashed all the time absolutely which that's still for us yeah that's still true for us it's still true for us a lot as well uh mentally what what's the preparation for that loot like i'm still trying to figure out what the proper preparation is (laughs) because it's it's really tough Uh, i'm i'm a competitive person Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and 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 competitive competitiveness and ego are two different things mm-hmm. i do yep. not have an ego yeah but yes i am very competitive and you are the worst one in the room mm-hmm. you know as a white belt and sometimes as a blue belt you're mm-hmm. still the least experienced in the room yeah. with, with these upper level grapplers mm-hmm. and so you got to wash away the competitiveness a little bit and not focus so much on the result mm-hmm. as competitors do we want right. the win we want the the fireworks show at the end mm-hmm. And focus on the process. Yes, you right. know, and Rob talks about that a lot. Mm-hmm. And, and just be mindful of the process. And, and the process gets you those little victories, mm-hmm. the little ones that don't show up on paper. You know, the the in baseball they would call them. They don't show up on the stat sheet. That's right. That's uh, right. But those are the real things that you got to focus on because I've focused far too much on the the win, mm-hmm. and, and that's wrong because you're not going to get it. Yeah. And if you're focusing on that, you're going to leave disappointed and dejected mm-hmm. and, and really not understanding why are you there day in and day out because mm-hmm. you're not getting many wins. Right. And if you do, they let let you have that. Right. right? right. And you need to learn that as well. Yeah. 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 Just yeah. because they didn't doesn't that's, mean they can't. That's right. Okay. That's you know, right. so, well, I, I mean, that's say, a big lesson for a white belt. Just right. because he's not killing you doesn't mean that he can't. That's right. right. And you I still know? say that to a lot of people. I'm like, hey, thanks for letting me roll. Yeah, you know, yeah. let me I, I, let me move. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, that, yeah. That, that's a real thing. You know, the mental the mental aspect of the game is something that even out, out of that in house tournament, and I want to talk more about that in our future podcasts as yeah. far as uh, that goes. You know, I, I kind of kind of I realized when it comes to training sometimes because you're being the nail so often, 
um, you know, I was, I told Rob, I was like, man, I, th- I come in here to train sometimes with a defeatist mindset. Like, yeah. and, and when I say it's a mental battle, yeah. Cause I'm not there to win the role. You're committed to the process, mm-hmm. but in that process, if I'm just going, well, I know how this is going to go and I know what he's going to do. And then I'm gonna get stuck in this position. There's times where I'm just laying there in those bad positions, like go ahead and submit, you know? Yeah. And I'm like, that's a terrible way to train. That's right. a terrible habit to get in. And so I you think you need to stop doing that. Yeah. Well, I'm, I am, you know, I think it was a thing. Cause when I came into that tournament, I was, I was, I was ready to roll. You know, I was like, shoot, I'm ready to roll today. You know, uh, I knew that was going to be uphill battle against, uh, you know, two good blue belts, but it, it was like mentally I was there, but I need to bring that into training too. And so that was at least one good takeaway for me from that very thing. Uh, it's still coming in and, and getting smashed. You're just going, yeah, that may happen, but I don't need to come in and just be like, well, it's going to happen. Let me lay down and die. You know, that's so a, right. y'all had a tournament. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Did you did you show up, Danny? No, I, I didn't. Show up. <laughs> I, I didn't show up to that tournament. So we'll talk. We'll talk more about that uh, uh, later. It's because it, it's good. Because we're 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 going to talk about is uh, is losing learning. Yeah, yeah. that's mm-hmm. going to be the the title for that one. And I think there's a lot that goes into that. So and I did. I, you know, I I did show up to the tournament, but I didn't show up to the tournament. But um, I learned a lot that day. The old the old jujitsu saying, if you're not, if what is it? Um, if you you win. If you lose, you learn, or what? What's that one? Yeah, yeah. So losing is learning. You know, yeah, you either losing. win or lose, and losing is learning, or something go. like that. Yeah, yeah. So I'll, I'll, I, I uh, definitely learned a lot that day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Haven't we all? Man, yeah. It, I don't. I, and it's like that. And for it's like I don't see purple belts having days like this. It just don't feel that way when I see these guys. But I, some days I feel like I'm man. I'm just every, clicking on all cylinders. And then other days, no offense to white belts, but I feel like like I'm just like a new one stripe, two stripe, just trying to figure this thing out. Yeah. And I'm like, what's going on? I, yeah. I don't, I don't. I don't know if that's the plight. I don't know if that's the plight of the blue belt. I don't want to take that away. Take that away from you know Kerry's time talking about his white belt struggles. But honestly, it's going to be a lot of it's the same. It's just up and down, man. And I'm sure you know. I don't know if it, I don't even know if JP and Sandy would say the same thing at Purple Belt. You know, they're probably just refining stuff. I don't know if they're like, yeah, oh, yeah I'm, I'm just sucked today. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I, don't I think know. it depends on who's in the group. Right. Yeah, I, I know JP probably felt like that a little bit when he was rolling against Josh Burnett. Like he was just like, oh my gosh. But yeah, there's not there's that. not many people that get a hold of Sandy or JP and that just handle them. Yeah, yeah. Nah. no, 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 no. And if they, the thing about them, like if they want to at any given time, they can submit you. Like, if they just oh, want sure. to, they're just going to submit you. It's right. like, if they're having a bad day, they're just going to submit you. Whereas there's, like, I'll be having a bad day, and sometimes I... Yeah, it shows, I and I just can't <laughs> submit somebody. I'm like, this sucks. Yeah, I know. Like, I'm supposed to be better than this. So, I guess a, a question coming out of that. As for me, obviously, my, my roller coaster as a white belt was kind of up, down, up, down. But it was a, definitely more of a gradual up. And I've said before on the podcast, uh, man, I was so comfortable at a, like where you are right now, like a three stripe. And then I got my four stripe. I wasn't a four stripe for a long time, but I felt great there. Mm-hmm. Um, but then when I hit my blue belt, it's like my, my heels got higher, but my, my valley's got a lot lower mm-hmm. on that roller coaster. Uh, has, what has it been for you as far as that roller coaster? Well, honestly, um, there's not been too many heels. Um, it's, uh, it, we, we've not had a big crop of white belts since I've trained that stayed for any length of time. So being one of the uh, smaller guys in the gym and least experienced guys in the gym, mm-hmm. you're getting whipped early and often right. you know and so, so i guess you don't know what you don't know so, that you've progressed so you it's hard to see the progression and, and you know here recently we've gotten some new guys in and that's been fun um and so you get to you get to see some of the rewards of mm-hmm. some of the beatings you've been taking mm-hmm. um but then to kind of piggyback off what you said then you get a new aggressive white belt yep. that is really strong or maybe very athletic mm-hmm. and then he pushes you harder than you think you should be pushed and you're thinking, wow, so I really don't know anything, you know, mm-hmm. but it, it's, it's, it, it's a constant, it's a constant struggle. Um, having a lot of fun with it. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I won't go as far as saying that there's confidence there, right. you know, there, there may be a, some humility and some slight confidence, but, but there's, um, com- there's gotta be, com- there's confidence to where like, if you know, if you had yeah. an altercation outside of jujitsu, um, you've got to be confident there because you're good. At, you're good. Well, like I roll against you often. You're, you're very well-rounded. Well, I, <laughs> That's another show, but um, I don't know that I would 
defer to my jujitsu as my first line of defense mm -hmm. um just because i'm not that confident in that i'm, yeah. I'm more confident in other abilities yeah. um but it's uh it, it's it's really so you're it, just going to shoot somebody likely yes <laughs> yeah, i mean that's just that's the easy thing not, i'm i'm old also no and, and you man, ain't the hurt, old yeah it, it hurts too bad <laughs> so um let, let's just do something effective uh, we, we don't need six minutes to prove i'm better let's just let's get it yeah. done let's just so, be done with but it. but you know if there is a confidence booster that that i've had is because i've trained so much with the blue belts and purples and and up and, and that's been the majority of my training partners being intimidated by any white belt of any size really is not there right. because there's not really anything they can do to me that it's not already been done at a higher level. Right. Yeah. Um, so yeah. there is some confidence there. You know, even you walk into the guys that you may have never met before. Maybe mm -hmm. they're from a neighboring gym. Maybe it's a competition. I do have the confidence that there's not a white belt that's going to pressure me like JP's going to pressure me. Right, yeah. Like, like Dustin's going to pressure me. Like right. Sandy's going to pressure me. You literally don't know – you don't have the skill set that they have. So if I can take their beating, there's nothing you can do to me that I've not already experienced. Yeah, so there is a little confidence in that. Right, yeah. Um, so speaking of Dustin, yeah, Gary, what's Dustin's deal? What's Dustin's deal? Guys, I'm staying as far away from that as I possibly can. Um because as the white belt in the room, yeah. I will still say yes, sir, to him. Now, I may talk a little trash as I'm blacking out. Right, yeah. Um, but other than that, I'm going to be very respectful. Look, that's a big, strong man that knows a lot more than I do. Well, Jason's not scared of him. I I'm not scared Oh, of I'm him. not scared of him. Yeah. I'm respectful of him, though. <laughs> you can believe that. I mean, he uh, since that, that promotion, he hasn't slacked up very much mm. on putting it to me. Um, no. no. And, and he's actually at to... to to uh to add to what you said earlier he uh he's gotten a little little bold with um incentivizing the others to actually um perform harm to yeah. us yeah. you know not only is it yeah. it is no longer good enough for him to do the physical harm himself right but he's incentivizing and and and, and causing others to uh to uh, do the same harm to us, and, and I don't understand that. That's that is secondhand punishment, mm, man. And that's I, a good I, point. I, I can't get on board with that. You know, I have noticed you know? that. So he's got his black belt, and he used to be just all about him, him you know, slaughtering. Just, yeah. Yes. So now he wants to inflict pain through others. Through and I, others, because that, that's the teaching role that comes with it. Yeah. Guess, as far as guidance. Well, I think he's been reading some books about psychological warfare. Yeah, he teaching has. dictatorship. Yeah, yes. well, I mean, it's Dictator. all the, uh, the art of war, tyrant, tyrant, tyrant type yeah. things. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Well, I will say for for me, I mean, I guess he just likes me. <laughs> he's <laughs> he's one of the ones that that allowed me to roll with him the other day, and I was like, well, thanks, Dustin, for yeah. letting me move a little bit. Yeah, because obviously we all know that he can just lock you down, and no. you can't move or breathe. Yeah, I didn't thank him for anything after our roll. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, <laughs> absolutely nothing. So yeah, yeah. So we we've discussed that before. Anything we say can and will be held against us at the gym. At the on the and on the, Dustin's one that he. He takes the What's Dustin's Deal Very segment yeah. um, with, um, you know, in stride. He likes mm -hmm. it. He likes that props, but he will he will punish us for it. All right. And I want to say that you've become a, a sassy britches. Yeah, sassy britches. That's uh, since you've got promoted and, you know. That's okay. It's okay. I mean, it's. That's yeah. okay. You deserve it. You deserve it. We'll give you we'll give you a little leeway before we really tear into you. Yeah. And, and then you can tear into us, as you always do. Mm -hmm. But it's still not going to. It's not. We're not backing down, Dustin. You need to hear that. Jason we're, is we are not, not backing, backing down. down. Mm -mm. I'm coming for sweat. Oil check. Sweat for the oh, oil check. Oh, he's bringing the oil check. No, I'm not. He actually. That's that's. <laughs> he actually did that to me the other night. He did oil check. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's well, the there's, kind of there's people, proof of it. That's the kind of monster that we deal with on a weekly basis. I can't believe it. We I have a whole <laughs> podcast about oil checking from Dustin. We did actually. <laughs> we did. We've already done that. We did. We did. Yeah, so um, we still love we love you, Dustin. Oh, I love you, Dustin. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about Jason. No, I I, I love Dustin. Yeah. He's actually he's one of my favorite people. But well, Kerry was talking about he's still going to get earlier. He's still going to get the trash talk because he's just going to hammer me. That's all. That's the only defense I have is just completely trash. <laughs> don't bring talking. me into this in one way or another. <laughs> um, 
No, that's cool. But yeah, I mean, before uh, honestly, I mean, do you really think it's going to make a difference whether we trash talk him or no. and polite yes. to him? I mean, that's the result I, is going to be the same. So there's some part of me that wants to just get it out while he's not in the room. Yeah. Say it. And, 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 you know, just make well, it. Well, I was, kind of, think about it, I was right? kind of hoping that you would go he's in. he's a the, great guy. I really thought you <laughs> I really enjoy the roles and all the teaching and this the was, fatherly advice that he, he imparts. I, I was really hoping you would go down the route you did before we started recording. Oh, really? Talking. Oh, about, you know, yeah. Yeah. like the pressure of a JV wrestler and like, things like that. That's yes. what I was like, hoping for. I was wondering if he's lost some of his stride. You know, he, he's yeah. getting a little older. I think he it, mentioned you know, that he may have lost – you thought he lost a little weight because his pressure is just not what it, it used it's to be. It's just not yeah. the same. I so mean, his it's pressure, just, pressure wasn't as good. I mean, the last time he was on me, I could still breathe, yeah. you know, and I, I said, wow, what's well, going on Well, you want any here? more? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's fine. I mean, you got to die somehow, right? That's right. It might as – hey, I would rather die at the hands of a brown or black belt. I'm sorry. Oh, I apologize. I just said brown belt. That's a wrap. My bad, buddy. That's a wrap. I would rather the, die at the hands of a black belt than, mm, than a the only lesser thing you man. belt. The only thing you could have done worse. Nice knowing you care. Yeah, no, that's cool. The <laughs> only thing you could have done right. worse is acknowledge the fact that he's a dirty guard puller. Mm. Oh, 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 that's, that's that bad. <laughs> that's really bad. Check, please. I'm out. Okay, wow. so I don't I'll, even want to be associated with you take, now. This is I will take my licks like you will, <laughs> and it's coming. It's coming. Right. I'm good for it. All right, well. So tell me this, We've pretty much signed our warrant our yeah, we have. on that oh, one. So go ahead. Yeah, he's he's going to bring it. So um, your dad, obviously, you have two daughters, right? Yes. Um, did they? Did you ever get them involved in – I know I see them there all the time. Yes. But that they, they – in the kids' class. Yes, yeah, yes. They're, they're, so they both train? They both train. So at what point did you decide that you wanted them to start training? And did it, was it, did it their decision or is it something you kind of pushed them to do? Um. Probably a little of both. Um, my approach with both of my daughters as far as sports go is I don't tell you what you have to do, but I tell you you have to do something. Right. Mm-hmm. And, and and both of them are, have been involved in gymnastics and softball and, and, and a gamut of activities. Um, so my oldest daughter, which is 12, um, she came in first. I said, hey, you want to check this out? We have a kid's class. I think this is you know probably something for you. She's a pretty – How long have you been training before you did that? Um maybe just a couple months. I okay. mean, she got in pretty early um, right after me. So um, you saw, you, you, I saw a benefit of yeah. it and, and, and I saw, you know, some of the things we were learning and she, she's a very mild um, child. Right. She, she's a very mild personality. Um, so she's not one to, you know, jump off the top rope and try some of this stuff that she right. saw. Um, but I just, I, you know, she's a young lady. She's, mm-hmm. she's 12 and you know, the world's not getting any better. Right. And so if I can teach her something that, will pay dividends down the road. I mean, I think past 16, 18 years old, throwing a softball doesn't mean a whole lot to you. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, unless mm-hmm. you're an elite athlete. That's right. Jiu-jitsu is something that can mean something to you for the rest of her life. Right. Um, whether it's, you know, just a bad situation or or, or what have you. There, there, and there's so many life lessons with jiu-jitsu that goes beyond the technical movements. And mm-hmm. y'all know this, and, and mm-hmm. y'all have kids involved as well. Right. Um, like with a lot of sports, there, there's there's a lot of things you learn in sport that is not necessarily directed toward the activity or the sport itself. There's a lot of life that happens. Mm-hmm. And jiu-jitsu is one of those things where there's a very slow progression. Right. Mm-hmm. Right? It's It's not instant affirmation for anything right it's so it's you know, we don't get a trophy every week you know there's not a new belt every week so you have to and there's stay the-, the course show up do what you're supposed to do um it is hard mm-hmm. it was it's hot mm-hmm. it's not always fun mm-hmm. but there are rewards at the end and, and you do get better you mm-hmm. do make friends there's another family y'all talked about family right, yeah. so much uh, you know um, my children have a jujitsu family they right. they they know all the kids in class, and, and they enjoy coming to see those kids. Mm-hmm. Um, soon after my oldest daughter started, uh, I got my youngest daughter in. She made it for a month or two and said, yeah, check, please. I'm out. This is hot. <laughs> this messes with my hair. I don't like this. <laughs> yeah. And so she bailed on me for quite some time, right. and so it took some encouragement to get her back. Uh, now that she's back, she's kind of come back with a little fire, mm-hmm. and cool. um, she's she's has some athleticism yeah. and and love watching her compete with the tinies yeah. um and she's having a blast you right. know she's she's also learning um so uh, i'm grateful that both of the kids are in that group um and, and like i said it, it's it's for health it's for exercise but you know beyond that you know it's something they take with them through life right so carrie you've picked this you've picked up jiu-jitsu later in life like we did and you know you've kind of uh, explained about that what is it that keeps you coming back um, 
the challenge. Mm-hmm. I mean, there, there's a challenge, and it's it's a, it's a big challenge, um, and it's not something you're going to see the results of quickly. Mm-hmm. Um, plus, being old, it hurts too bad to stop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah. if you if you're out for ten days, it's uh, it's really tough. So once you're in it, it's it's the fear of how bad it's going to hurt to, you know, it's like leaving the gym and you you come back the next week. It's uh, all your maxes have been cut in half, and uh, <laughs> so it just hurts too bad to stop. You know, and cardio is a factor too. Cardio is a huge factor. Do you want to talk about right. how you got your nickname? And old Drippy. Yeah. Well, yeah. I want to know how how he oh. got his nickname. Well, because it just kind of come out of the blue. I heard him calling you old Drippy, and I'm like, I don't. Uh, what where did that come from? <laughs> we were drilling in fundies one night, mm-hmm. and 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 I sweat profusely. Mm-hmm. That's where old Drippy comes from. Okay. It's not any worse than that. <laughs> um, promise you guys. Um, <laughs> So, well, this is making me making me happy that yeah. I don't have a nickname. Right, you're yeah. right. It's there, a blessing and a curse. Yes, yeah. it is. Um, so I, I sweat <laughs> terribly bad, and so we were in fundies one night doing some very non strenuous things, mm-hmm. and I'm just like pouring. I'm just I'm pouring. I'm soaking the mat. Right? right. Yeah. And Rob comes by and says, "Who is sweating up my mats during fundies? <laughs> Why is my mat soaked during fundies?" And I'm like, "That would be me, coach." <laughs> And then so there's, uh, I hear there's some uh, character that's old drippy that, that he's found and sent me. Yeah. And so that's where he got it from. But it just, oh, gotcha. it works for the, the sweatiest guy in the gym, the guy that <laughs> just eye. soaks the mat. So now <laughs> out of all of my skills that I've learned in two years, probably dripping on someone is probably the the best skill I have. Yeah. You know, that's the best offense I have. Is that your go-to submission? That, that's my go-to. It's just <laughs> get right on top and just like, you know. That's awesome. Get it in your eyes or whatnot. That's you know, awesome. I mean, it, but that, that's, that's old drippy. That's, old drippy. that's where it come from. And it was, like I said, it was fundies. Yeah. You shouldn't have been soaking the mats yeah. during yeah, fundies. And, been, right. and I look back at that and I'm like, he really had a point there. You know, there's, <laughs> why were you sweating so much during fundies, man? It's like, that's who I am. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, coach. Yeah, sorry. That's Old what drippy. I do. Old, Old drippy. drippy. So that's funny. it's stuck and I can't get rid of it. <laughs> that's good. That's Out, good stuff. Outside of the um, being the nail, which is yeah. interesting enough, like somebody was. I can't remember. It was like one of last week's training sessions, and, and I can't remember. I think, it was, I think it was Mark. Uh, he mm-hmm. was next to me, and he was getting killed. And, of course. Uh, and I said, well, sometimes you're the nail, and sometimes you're hammer, you know, the hammer. And I said, I'm still the nail, and so just get used to it, Mark. It don't get any better, you know. <laughs> and uh, then Rob, Rob gave us some great encouragement. He's like, yeah, you don't really start being the hammer until you're brown belt anyway. I was like, oh, oh my gosh, gosh. <laughs> this wow. is going to be a long road. <laughs> got a long way to go. <laughs> yes. So yes. I, I guess we can all take encouragement from that, you well, know. It's going to be a while. So with outside of that, being the nail, being a, a difficult, you know, it's a mental, it's really a mental thing to just get, get used to. What would you say like the biggest challenge, uh, uh, overcoming the, what's the, been the biggest challenge? At, at physically or mentally? Both. Let's get both. Um, physically, um, just, uh, just moving. It, it's very awkward movements. I mean, I, I've played the big three sports, you know, the mm-hmm, common sports, mm-hmm. there, basketball, baseball, football. Mm-hmm. But this is th- these are such different movements than, than, than you do in those sports. And then you're 39, you're not 18, yeah. Yeah. right? So you, you mentally think your body still can do those things, and it really can't. That's right. Yeah. Um, so, but it, it's honestly, it, it's a mental hurdle. It's, it's got to desire to be punished Mm-hmm. And still want to show up the next day, and I, there's not a lot of logic in that. Right? Yeah, I don't you know, understand there's, that. I've I've mm-hmm. looked for logic many evenings on the ride home that 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 tried to explain why I'm paying for this. <laughs> I'm paying for these big guys to yeah. do really bad things, and yeah, just, and just I hurt so bad. And you keep coming. And back. then I show up. I can't wait to get there the next day. I so know. I don't know that there's really a logical explanation, but mentally, it is a challenge. Mm-hmm. It, it's it's. Um, it's one of those things that brings the day into focus when you're being choked out or you're choking someone out. Mm-hmm. You know, it, you forget about all the things in your day, whether it's business or yeah. life, home, yeah. whatever yeah. it is. You, your world gets very narrow when, when a guy's got your back yeah. and, and, and he's putting pressure. Right. You know, yeah. you, you, you forget about all those things. And you start so, breathing shallow. <laughs> yeah, so there's, there's a stress relief. You know, believe it or not, as stressful as it sounds, there's a lot of stress relief that happens yeah. there. I, I get... A little anxious if I don't go to gym. I know some of the other guys, a little anxiety, a little grumpy if they don't show up, which 
again, doesn't make logical sense, but it's the truth. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, and we all kind of are starving to get back in there. Mm-hmm. And and I don't yeah. I don't understand it. I don't. Maybe maybe one day that'll that'll come to me. But I don't know. I think it's a. I don't believe in cavemen. I don't believe that part of evolution. I don't believe evolution. Period. Mm-hmm. But uh, for lack of a better word, I think it's just the cavemen in us. <laughs> you know, it's that primal. Well, the, it takes wow. a certain kind of person. I'll give you that. It takes a certain kind of person, and I don't say this an athletic person or a smart person or nope. It's a person that has some self drive, some self motivation, mm-hmm. um, that likes a challenge. You know, it's business owners. It's yeah. it's people that you'll find that are in our gym are successful in life in general, Mm -hmm. whether Mm -hmm. it's being great dads, leaders Mm -hmm. at their companies, leaders in their position. You'll see a lot of leadership guys that come in. It's not just a big, strong athletic guy that is successful. Mm -hmm. You have to have some personal traits that, that allow you to continue to want to be there. It's not for everyone. We've seen the big, strong guys come Come and and go. go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it, it, I think it's deeper than athleticism. It's deeper than your physical characteristics. I think so too. I think it's a part a part of like when you first go in there. I, I, my story was, and I, I'll go over it real quick. But it, it's to your point was I felt like I could handle myself pretty well. We talked about it. And you go in there and you realize, dude, there's guys here that can hurt me however they want to hurt oh, absolutely. me. Absolutely. And there's nothing I can do about it. And like I never thought that that would be possible. Um, but when I realized that, I was like, hmm, maybe I can learn to be one of those guys. Mm-hmm. You know, not not to try to hurt somebody, but to be able to protect myself from these idiots <laughs> mm-hmm. right. that mm-hmm. come in. You know, if I could control somebody that way without hurting myself or hurting them necessarily, I was like, how cool would that be? So that was kind of one of the things for me that, that I guess keeps me coming back. Yeah. Yeah, it's the complexity of learning in, yeah. in the sport that's really like uh, – very appealing because you're working through i, f- I find it a lot more mental Absolutely. outside of cardio uh, the, and then physical um and at the end of the day i think jujitsu really simplifies things right because it's just like uh, you know like you said once you're choking i mean it's it's life or death and you cannot uh, the stress relief is you kind of walk out of there just going I mean that's that's life, you know. It's like yeah. just just coming to grips with that and not freaking out about everything. It's mm-hmm. like it's just I found, and this is kind of sidebar, but I found for me um, coming back off deployment, even after everything that took, you know, like as far as being deployed in Iraq and, right. and, and in firefights and stuff, I found that stress back home mm-hmm. really got me more uh, agitated than stress overseas. Because when you wake up and you realize mm-hmm. that life is just just living and enjoying that moment because mm-hmm. it's not going to be there. Mm-hmm. It just simplifies everything because yeah. then you kind of walk out of there going, I mean, what do I have to stress about? I'm breathing. So right, I'm yeah. not choked unconscious. All, all things are relative. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. mean, it puts they let everything go. in perspective. It really does. You know, yeah. I think it, I, I think there's, there's a, there is that beauty in that. It's like, man, this is very, it's just simple. It's just simple about enjoying the moment, you know, not to get real Confucius or profound. I just, I feel like You're deep man that that's been like, a big appeal, especially on that stress reliever, because it's just like, I don't know what I was worried about before I came in here, but after getting... But I'm not worried about it now. Yeah, I'm not worried about it now. Mm-hmm. Right yeah. now, I'm worried about staying unconscious. Have you yeah. ever thought and about... Now I'm glad I'm breathing. Have you ever thought about... And can about, move. I know, right? <laughs> and I think about this all the time, because I'm always like looking and, and sizing people up and just trying to be cautious, you know, not, not aggressive, but cautious. And I thought, you know, it would be terrible for like a bad guy to be as capable as like, you know, coach or bimbles or... JP and you have to get into it with them. That that just suck. It'd yeah. be terrible. Yeah. And, and you know that's another. You bring that up because you just named three different very bo- very different body styles. Yes, that's just something that's really unique about jujitsu that that I, I guess I am a fan of, and then it did attract me to it. You know, I'm not a huge guy, mm-hmm. but that jujitsu doesn't have a look. Right. Yeah, jujitsu doesn't have a shape. There right. are tall guys. There are thick guys. There are short guys. There's thin guys. You mm-hmm. know, there's there's not a look there. You can't look at a guy and say that guy's good at jujitsu, right? Yeah. Because of his body type. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A football player, you can pick him out in a crowd, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Basketball player, you can pick him out in a crowd. Mm-hmm. I mean, is anybody scared of half of the body types that are in our gym Mm-mm. with street clothes on? No, no. no but no, those no. guys can do some serious physical harm to you. That's right. You know, but they're not imposing figures. I mean. Dustin's a big guy, but mm-hmm. honestly, you know, he looks like a normal guy. Right. He, he's not a bodybuilder type guy, you know, supreme athlete right, shape, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. But that guy's deadly. You know, the, you know? Exactly. in more than one way. You know, the right. first guy that comes to mind <laughs> when you right. say that, though, 
That when I saw that he was a black belt, it freaked me out. Al Bundy. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're married with children. I found out he was a black belt. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. Ashton Kutcher. Right. Yeah, he's, he's, he trains. I think right. he's just got his brown, didn't he? Right. I, mean, I don't know. He's a yeah, goofball. I, they, I mean, yeah. no one's scared of that guy. Right. But he can put a if hurt you on know you. what you know. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's real. Cool. All right. Yeah. So anything uh, else? No, I, th- I just say. Uh, so, Carrie, what encouragement would you give to anybody that's? I, I, w- I like to do this just because it encourages people to get involved in jujitsu. What would you say? Hey, you should do this, uh, and 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 why? And why? That someone who is not currently involved, mm-hmm. is not training, or um, a white belt. Uh, I'll say not training or a white belt that is training. Answer both those. Yeah. Why should they keep going? Because mm. two years in, you the, right. you're you're here. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm I'm committed. Yeah. I'm here. We know your name now. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's a big plus. That's a big plus. Um, for the white belt who has just started training, I, I hated these words. Mm-hmm. Y'all have both said it. Mm-hmm. I've heard it a million Uh-oh. times. I know where you're going. Just keep showing up. That's it. That's it, it. It, it. I hated that, but it's so true. You have no choice but to get better mm-hmm. if you keep showing up. The road is hard. It sucks. You're going to wake a, walk away and just, you know, just hate yourself for showing up. Right. Show up continue that grind focus on the process don't look for the results because mm-hmm. they're not very many um it's going to hurt it's going to be miserable it's going to be years mm-hmm. it's not days months right. it's years mm-hmm. that, that you're going to struggle continue to show up continue to put in the work um Matt stay time. off of youtube yeah. um don't yeah. do that and if you do never tell your coach you were on youtube yeah never yeah. ever don't, ever don't. but say if you that. do go to youtube go check out a father's role <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah i meant for bjj yeah, yeah. For instructional no don't yeah. do that that's all right um for the person who hasn't trained who's maybe a dad mm-hmm. who's maybe midlife mm-hmm. um you can do it i mean right. you have to you have to be committed it's it is something different than the gym. It is a little different than old man softball. Mm-hmm. Go buy a couple of bottles of ibuprofen. Go mm-hmm. buy some ibuprofen. Uh, you know, particularly take stock out in the company yeah, if you yeah, can, right. because you will need it. A lot of it. Yep. Um, Epsom sauce. Yeah. Or, uh, Epsom salt. That's I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, a lot of hot water and some sauce. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> some if that's your thing, <laughs> may try that. Also, I, I've not yeah. been there yet, but um, <laughs> a few more bad nights underneath <laughs> dust, and then uh, you know maybe that's where <laughs> maybe I'll, I'll start a new habit. But, no, don't um, do that. Don't do that. But but no, guys, it's uh, it, it it is uh, physically rewarding. It's mentally rewarding. Um, the camaraderie is great. Mm-hmm. Um, you get a new family out of the deal. Um, meet a lot of great personalities, all walks of life. I mean, we three are very different, you know, backgrounds. Right. Um, but we all come together in a common, common area for mm-hmm. an hour or two a night, and, and you know, set the world aside, set politics aside, and, and just be good people. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. just just be good people. Yeah. And, no matter your background. No matter your background, yeah. we we have every walk of life in that gym. Right, just. Yeah. Just come in there and, and, and be, you know, want to get better. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're a self-driven person, it's a great sport. Mm-hmm. Um, just don't expect results instantaneously. Yes, quickly, yeah. It's just not going to happen. That's right. Hey, what better way to, to end it, guys? Uh, thanks for joining us. Um, if you are on Facebook, go check us out at A Father's Role. Uh, we both have a group and a page. Uh, if you enjoy the content, join that and check us out on YouTube. Subscribe, like, share, all that good kind of stuff. We'd appreciate it. Um, and if you're looking for merch, we have uh, some t-shirts and that is at a father's That will be, all those will be in the description below. So go check out the description, follow the link and, um, yeah, we appreciate it and we'll see you next time. We'll catch you guys next time. Happy Thanksgiving. See ya.